Can I tell you my story? Oscar is a constant, constant source of information and stimulation and needs it all the time. How much do you know about elephants? Hardly anything. Loxodonta Africana. And when something is inaccurate, he has to correct it. It's, it's, it's like it will burn a hole through him. If you're coming with me, there are rules. You are allotted two bathroom breaks, and sightseeing is strictly prohibited, although sites of historical merit may be noted. Thomas Horn is very similar to that. All right, here we go. Let's do a rehearsal. I was on an episode of uh, Kids Jeopardy that aired on July 8th, 2010. Thomas Horn, you are studying Mandarin. What is it about that language that interested you? Well, it's the most widely spoken first language in the world, so if you want to speak with a lot of people, it's probably the language to learn. And I believe someone in the production company saw me, and they contacted my school to see if I'd be interested in auditioning for a role. Once I found out I was going to be accepted for the role, that was very exciting. That was earth-shaking, so to speak, because I've never done anything like this before. I've never really even acted before, so it's kind of new, different, and exciting. Hey, Thomas, it's just a check. It's a bit I'm not <clears throat> mucking this up. So what are we going to do now? Do you agree? Will you show what I've just done? Just to show That's Why not the point. So it's exactly the point. Dad was just cells, and now they're on rooftops. Yeah, good. Steve and I have done a lot of work with children over the years because of our work on Billy Elliot. So it's a, it's a different kettle of fish from the get-go with a child, especially a child like Thomas, because he's never acted before. But I think we believe all children can act. We believe everyone can act. It's just finding them the right part and giving them the right physical actions and the right help. Can you see the Empire State Building there? It's right over the camera. It's just bizarrely the camera's there. So once that's all mashed up, I think it should be just great. The most important thing is you treat the younger actors in exactly the same way as you treat the adult actors. What you usually have to do, which we did with Thomas, who loved the process, is it's basically give them a crash course in having a language to understand what they're doing. Um, and it's an acting language that we essentially teach the children. So you know, you know when the window's going back up, you say, does anybody know there is a window? And that should be yeah, out, out, out of the window. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. It's like my process with Thomas was classic Stanislavski ways of approaching the text. So it was uh, looking at life objectives and the obstacles to those objectives, to the objectives for every scene, and then finding an intention, a verb that he can play on every line. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, shout back, I didn't do anything wrong. OK, and then I go up and then I go up. What's great about him is he's not an actor, but he's got the instincts of, of one, and he knows what his task is. When it's his close-ups, he actually sparks up. He actually be, does these things that are kind of amazing and unique and individual to the close-up, and that's actually the chops that uh, you know a seasoned actor has. You know, Just get through the stuff that is shared to you, but when it comes down to it, it's big and it's on you. You know, bring something new and, and bring some sort of sparkle to it. That that's that's actually quite extraordinary. And Thomas, what is really difficult in acting is to just allow a moment to happen. It's very difficult. It's me, Oscar Show. I'm here. And he's a wonderful actor because let's go. He doesn't put anything else on the moment but what it is, which is the mark of great acting. I don't take rides from strangers. Well, technically, we're not strangers anymore. Get in. He doesn't seem to have any problems being fearless in the doing of it. And that's another thing that acting takes, is courage. Ah! Ah! When Oscar's mother finally reveals to Oscar that she knows what he's been doing, it was difficult because I really had to be one with Oscar, so to speak. I really had to feel how Oscar was feeling to the extent that, you know, I started emotionally crying and I had to really, I had to act with conviction. I had to cry, I had to scream, I had to stab a sheet of cardboard with a compass without just giving up. I had to really be Oscar for a while. It was difficult. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go, baby. Let it go. I love that kid. 
I would walk by his room and he's speaking Mandarin. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm just trying to butter my bagel in the right way, not get it on my clothes. <laughs> and you were speaking Mandarin. That damn kid and his acting chops. I mean, like him being smart and winning Jeopardy isn't bad enough. He has to then step into my business and show us all up, because I couldn't go on to Jeopardy and answer more than maybe two questions. Jeffrey, start speaking. You're coming, yeah? You're looking at Jeffrey, right, Thomas? Yeah. I'm looking at Jeffrey right now. Okay. He is incredibly focused and seems to be breezing through this. He takes it very seriously. And much like the character that he plays, he's a sponge, you know, you know picking up ideas from uh, the other actors that he's working with and also being guided uh, really uh, uh, gently and, uh, and and cleverly by Stephen. No, legs crossed doesn't feel right, my love. Why don't you come and sit down, and, and, as if you're not really looking at You're just coming to sit down just because you want to get away from it. Thomas is a super smart, super funny, super engaged child with the dedication and tenacity of somebody way beyond his years, and love the methodology of the math of figuring out, oh, I see, well, if I do that, that happens. If that's the action that, oh, I see, I need to break down here. Well, I'll do that to get there. And Jimmy was uh, <clears throat> a serious actor way beyond his years. Let's cut. Much, much. How is my focus? Yeah, your focus is, is, is great. Every day I'm on set is a miracle because I never knew I was going to be doing this. And it's really more interesting than I ever would have thought. He seems to be delighted by the entire process from the get-go. We were doing a, a shot on the swings and we walked away and every time we yelled cut, he ran back to where he was supposed to be in order to see how it went. A kid who doesn't get bored making movies, you know, that hold on to that one. Good, Thomas. Thank you. When human beings are born like that, you just go, there's a very specific purpose they have in this world and they're gonna cure something, fix something, eradicate something. Um, and I'm sure he's gonna do a tremendous amount of good as an adult. But that Mandarin thing. Okay, we're ready. Thomas had never been on a film set before, but was not intimidated by it. And I think everybody on the crew would, you, there was no way we were dealing with a child actor. He was our leading man and he was on time, dedicated, knew everything he was doing, had a methodology and was, you know, extraordinary.